By doing something so simple, you're now able to navigate your entire workspace and search in a much improved way. This feature has drastically been improved and has so many better search functionalities and so many better small details like this one. I haven't done a Notion update in a while, but every once in a while, I do need to make a video about how something like this can absolutely change the way that you work. I've been creating content with Notion for a while and I have a very immense system, but something that has always come up to be extremely difficult inside of Notion is the fact that quite simply, there is no quick command functionality inside of it. That is until now. By pressing Control Shift K or Command Shift K, you'll notice that I am easily able to go to any specific page in my Notion workspace if I type it out. So if I type a specific page like actions, which is one of my main ones and press enter. What this does is this opens up in the most recent window, a specific page that I select. So if I type control shift K again and look up something like YouTube thumbnails, I could then click here and it would go to that page. Now, as you'll notice, if I end up closing this out by pressing command shift K, this opens it up wherever I'm at and then goes to the most recent opened instance of Notion on my desktop app and opens it. So right here, if I press Command Shift K and then press my priorities, you'll notice that a new tab ends up opening up. But if I were to close this again and type something like YouTube, which if you notice here is a opened up tab on my Notion space, then the power of this feature really comes through. Because if I type YouTube really quick and then open it up, you'll notice that it brings me to that specific tab. And I just closed out some tabs again and closed out more. And if I closed out the YouTube tab and went to anywhere on my desktop or was inside of the app itself, if I wanted to reopen one of those pages, all I'd have to do is if I press Command Shift K again, the most recent tabs that I did have open will be open here. So then I, for example, if I wanted to go to my priorities, could press my priorities and I would go there. However, if I'm inside of Notion, you notice that it actually changed me to this page. But if I'm not inside Notion and I do the exact same thing, what I'll end up happening is, is that if I press something like actions, which is a different page, it will open it up as a separate tab. Now, if I'm inside of Notion, the difference there is that if I press command shift K once again, and utilize the quick function. If I hold down control and left click and or command if you're on Mac, then it will open it up as a new tab. So just to reiterate, command shift K and clicking on the specific page that is the same as one of the tabs you have open will bring you to that tab if you are not within your Notion space. Now, if you're on a specific page, it will just change it to that one. As you can see, if I go back here and then exit out of Notion by getting and clicking on actions, it ends up bringing me to that tab if I'm outside of my Notion. But when clicking on a tab like this, basically what you're doing is you're telling it to change the page, similar to the control P search functionality that you're used to inside of Notion. And the way to open it up as a new tab always is to hold down command and then left click to open up a new tab. Now this is essentially the same search functionality that you've had inside of Notion, but it's just really more advanced. By doing something so simple, you're now able to navigate your entire workspace and search in a much improved way. This feature has drastically been improved and has so many better search functionalities and so many better small details like this one, or if you click on this, you can also change to search in a different workspace. And then you'll notice a bunch of different options show up and I can actually go into this one as well and it'll switch my workspace when I click on it. Now this paired with the new Ask Notion AI feature is absolutely amazing. And what I'm gonna do in a future video is once I get off of the waitlist for Notion Ask AI slash q and I am going to utilize the quick command bar and showcase to you how this is gonna work. I really think that this is gonna be awesome for also the opportunities that we have in regards to adding things to databases. I don't see that it would be outlandish for you to essentially have some sort of quick databases that you could then add entities to with this command bar. The fact that Notion finally added a command bar four years into be using it is mind boggling. I've been irritated by its lack of existence for a long time, and I'm just really excited for them to have something for us to work with. If you like this video and wanna see more content on how to improve your skills using Notion and other productivity apps, make sure to check out other ones like this right here. And if you're a product looking for someone to make content about your product or service, make sure to 
hit me up at riseproduction.com slash content hyphen services. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.